Once the world was full of wonders, but it belongs to humans now. We creatures have all but disappeared. Demons, vampires, and witches. Hiding in plain sight, fearful of discovery. Ill at ease even with each other. Join me in welcoming back to Oxford this year's Visiting Research Fellow. As many of you know, she took her DPhil in the History of Science here, and after publishing two prize-winning books, she was awarded tenure at Yale, one of the youngest ever to have been awarded that distinction. We are delighted to have her back amongst us, Dr. Diana Bishop. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alchemy. In the 17th century, alchemy was at the very heart of the study of nature and a precursor to modern chemistry. And death. All parts of the natural world, be they animate or inanimate, were believed to experience these stages. Although these images were often interpreted as allegory, they actually represent the chemical processes. With that access to the Bodleian Library's collection of unique manuscripts owned by Elias Ashmole, the 17th century antiquarian, astrologer, and alchemist, I will continue to explain explore the role that alchemy had in 17th century thought and how it influenced great scientists such as Isaac Newton and Robert Boyle. Thank you. Very stimulating. Thank you. There's an opening coming up soon in the faculty. I'm drawing up a short list of candidates. Would it interest you? Uh, yes. Well, we'll need to evaluate all your work. Of the course. talk that you just gave today, I assume it's ready to be published. Uh, it, it is, it is. It's, it's almost finished. Well, I'd need it by late October. Absolutely. Look forward to reading it. Thank you. <laughs> Diana, that was brilliant. Gillian Chamberlain at a lecture for alchemy? What a lovely surprise. It's been, what, four years since I've seen Almost you? six, actually. Can't believe it. When did you arrive? Over a week ago. I've been practically living in the library. I haven't even unpacked. It is so good to see you. <laughs> it's like, no, it's like coming home. Nothing's changed. Tell me about it. I'm not regular faculty, that's all. 
Still no vacancies for a classical historian. I'm sorry. If there's anything I can do... It'll happen. Otherwise, Oxford's still great. Coven's pretty active. We're meeting tonight for the Equinox. You'll know loads of us if you wanted to come. I'm still not comfortable around magic. Not after what happened to my parents. I still find it. I just find it difficult. Do you not use your powers at all? I am a walking disaster on that front. My powers are so unpredictable. This morning, it happened by accident in public. I mean, no one saw, but they could have. You should speak to Sylvia about that. She's the head of cover now. She might be able to help you. It's OK. I'm used to it. I hear your lecture impressed a few people yesterday. So, now you've got to get that paper finished, right? What do you need? Ashmole 3792, 183, and 782. 782, no problem. Be with you shortly. Thanks. Manuscripts. Thank you. Right, so I'm um, out by the call desk. Maybe we could have a coffee later. Yeah, great. Awesome. Okay. See ya. Bye.
Is it happening to you? Yes. Our blood is reacting to something. Bishop? So I presume I'm seeing you tonight? No. Come on. No. James, look, I found a new place. I've just been on a 12-hour shift. I'm going home to crash. Last week was a mistake, and I admit last week was That's a mistake. That's what you said last week. Well, Tuesday's better than the weekend. You can get a booth. It stays open until 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Midweek. Are you off your rocker? I'm pretty sure the DJ plays almost exclusively 90s R&B. See, w w when I'm not on shift, I'm in bed by 12. How come you never look tired? I'm not a lightweight like you. Uh-huh. Have a good sleep. Five aside next week, if you're awake.
Matthew, have you been here all night? She's a witch, Miriam. A powerful one of her families, I think, to go by. Who is? The academic I overheard outside the Bodleia. She's a direct descendant of Bridget Bishop, the first woman to be executed at the Salem Witch Trials. You think what happened yesterday was witchcraft? I don't know, but she'd just taken out an alchemical manuscript. An Ashmore manuscript. Come on, Matthew. It's not possible. What, that she's found Ashmore 782? Why? Because you've been looking for that book for over a hundred years. Longer. Ever since I began to believe that it could help us understand our origins. It's missing. It's always been missing. How could this witch have found it? Perhaps it wasn't missing. Perhaps it was waiting. It's me. Hey. You all right? It's five o'clock in the morning, Diana. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Something's happened. You all right, honey? I was in the bod studying. I took out a manuscript. But it was bewitched or something. Was it a grimoire? It was an Ashmole manuscript. There were alchemical illustrations. Uh-huh, what else? Ah. Uh moving under the pages. I, I couldn't read it. Definitely sounds like it was bewitched. How'd you unravel the spell? Do you say any words? There was no witchcraft involved, Sarah. How many times? You know I refused to practice. I couldn't wait to get rid of it. I returned it. What? Oh. Diana, we've always told you, if you ever come across something magical, you should always, always try to understand it. I mean, what is happening? It's Diana. She's discovered some magical book. That, that is not even why I called. It's... it's what happened afterwards. I think, I think I saw Dad. What do you mean you saw your dad? He was just as I remembered him. What do you think it means? Well, honey, we're not gonna know now, are we? You've given it back. Really, Diana, it's time you faced what you are, a witch. We've been over this, Sarah. I'm a historian. That's what I am. Oxford might offer me a professorship. Oh, honey, that is wonderful news, Diana. Yeah, well, I, I don't have it yet. I have to get a paper in. Wait, wait. You can't just hide in your work. You saw your father. This is important. If the book is bewitched, there's no telling how you unlocked the spell. You have to take the book out again. Work out what's going on. That may be what you would do, Sarah, but I'm not you. I called for your advice, not another lecture. Well, you know how she feels about all this. Give her time to cool off, honey, and try again. Y753 BCY. You say the car took off at speed. Are you sure that registration number's right? Positive. I have very good eyesight. You say you left the hospital at 5.30, but you didn't call the incident in until 6.15. I was giving you CPR. For over half an hour. Yes. I'm a doctor. I was trying to save his life. Hey, Matthew.
Think of the risks you took. You could have been seen. James was my friend. And a brilliant doctor. I couldn't bear for all that potential to go to waste. Did you even get his consent? Christ, Marcus! How many times do you have to be told? Right, I messed up. Why didn't it work? That's what we need to find out. What's he doing here? Marcus is our new research subject. Another failed siren. Would you take his blood and do a cheek swab? Thank you, Miriam. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Marcus. I'll need that. Can you roll up your sleeve? I can take my own blood. <laughs> Not in my lab, you can't. You should have told me. You knew that there'd been other failed siring, so why the secrecy? You're not going to be siring anyone. Do I have to haul you both out of here, or can we finish our wine first? You know I didn't plan to sire James. If there had been more time, I would have asked permission. And if I'd known there was a risk of failure, I never would have attempted it. Matthew, his last moments were ugly, confused, and desperate. And he didn't know why. I did that. He was my friend, and I took his death away from him for nothing. The reason I didn't tell you is because we're all in the dark. We know there's a problem, but we don't know the cause, and that's the reason we need the book. Matthew thinks Ashmore 782 covers early creature history. It could help us understand our evolution, our origins. The witches cannot be allowed to have that information. Some would want to use that knowledge to destroy us. So what do we do? I talk to Dr. Bishop. And if need be, we we'll take the book for ourselves. Yours, I believe. It's a nasty burn. You're a vampire. Professor Claremont, biochemistry. Dr. Bishop, I found your article on color symbolism in our chemical transformation fascinating. And your work on Robert Boyle's approach to problems of expansion and contraction, quietly persuasive. You have a wonderful way of evoking the past for the reader. Thank you. I'm hardly likely to forget you now. After that, I didn't think that witches were allowed to show their magic in public. 
I didn't mean for that to happen. Not in control of yourself, Dr. Bishop? I'm perfectly in control. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Professor Claremont, I have to get back to my work. Is everything all right? The disturbance we all felt. Your text said if anyone knew anything. Yes. I think maybe I do. Anything of interest? You're following me. Well, we work in the same place. It's hardly strange that our paths should cross again. You knew who I was yesterday. I'd call that a professional hazard. Your photographs on the back of all your books. I checked in with the staff at the Bard. You're in and out of there five minutes max. You were looking for me. Not because you enjoyed my thesis on Robert Boyle. What do you want, Professor Claremont? That's a fair question. You called up an Ashmole manuscript earlier this week, and something happened. Something that disturbed you. Was it Ashmole 782? I'm assuming you used magic to retrieve it. Why do you care? Alchemy's not your area? This is about a great deal more than just alchemy. Where's the manuscript now? Where it always is, you can't take books out of the Bodleian. Excuse me. Dr. Bishop, please hear me out. No one has seen that book for a very long time, and it's not just me who wants it. Word is spreading. It might be safer for you if the creatures of Oxford knew that it was no longer in your possession. Is that a threat? No. It's a warning. You need to be careful. I will be. Goodbye, Professor Claremont. Sean? Yeah? I need a drink. <laughs> For you. So now I know what you drink. <gasps> I know what you read. Pretty much everything pre-1800. What else is there? Oh, come on. Uh, family? Brothers, sisters? I'm an only child. I, uh, I was actually raised by my aunt and her partner. Oh. Yeah. My parents died. Both of them. Car crash or something. 
They were, uh, they were murdered. I, I shouldn't have asked. Uh, you really don't have to talk about it. It's okay. They were on a um, research trip to a village on the Ukraine-Russia border. We think the villagers turned on them. They thought that they, that they were witches. Witches? Some people still believe in witches. That magic is real. They believe in other creatures too. Superstitious crap. Now how people can still be so ignorant. We're living in the 21st century. I'm so sorry, Dan. No one's here. The bed's still warm, though. She can't be far away. We never are. Where'd you come from, witch? Take cover. This is who did. The Equinox gives me an edge. You've proven yourself more than worthy, Satu. I shall take you to be sworn into the congregation. But we have work to do first. There's been a disturbance. He's already put in his requests. These are his two. Give them to him, will you? Sure. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Some hotshot scientist graced us with his presence. Huh? Sorry, he requested day three. Yours, Professor Clement. Thank you. Good morning. Professor Claremont. you find a southern exposure comfortable. You don't believe everything you read, do you? All right, then. I thought that you might like some company. The lab is busy today. Quite a few witches here. You see?
So what? They often work in here. They're here to watch you. I did warn you that other creatures would take an interest in you. They're looking at me because I'm talking to you. Oh, they are not the ones with the you mind. Leaving so soon? Yeah. What was he doing in the library? I don't know any more than you do. But he talked to you. Yeah, he read my work. It's, it's not a big deal. They're very dangerous and they hate us as much as we hate them. Hopefully he'll be gone by tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going back to my rooms to work. Okay, sure. Welcome to Oxford, Mr. Knox. It, it's such an honour to have you in our city. It Come in. Don't linger out there. So, Miss Chamberlain. Hello. Please, sit down. Now, tell me exactly what happened. There was this Ashmole manuscript in the Bodleian Library, an alchemical one. Old? Medieval, two clasps, distinctive binding. My friend took it out. If it's the book I think it is, then I've been looking for it for a very long time. What's the name of your friend? Um, you heard him. The name. D Diana Bishop. I actually think it's safe down here in the dark, Dr. Bishop. Are you stalking me? I'm merely pointing out that rowing on your own is a risk. So, the Book of Life, what did you do with it? 
I don't know what that is. Which of your powers? How could you not know? Just because you saw me in the library, that was unusual for me. I don't use magic. Don't lie to me, Diana. I can feel your power. If you want the book, why don't you go get it? I told you I gave it back. I don't believe you. Okay. Let's say I'm lying. What are you going to do? Rip my head off to get the truth out of me? I could. But it's not how I operate. I'm going to say this to you one more time. I don't have your book. Ashmole 782 has been missing for centuries, and yet you were able to call it up. Aren't you curious why? That book has never appeared to me or anyone else, no matter what we've done. Only to you. It could be the key to our survival. So isn't it strange? that the only creature who can summon it is a witch who can't control her magic. Oh. 